kids in this neighborhood must think it's funny to trash the place and act like friggin' baboons. Wait a minute. They are baboons. Cliff Court woke up to find this surprise awaiting him in the suburbs of Cape Town, South Africa. He says periodically the baboons will come into town and wreak havoc at the end of winter because they can't find any food. But in South Africa, winter is just beginning. So it took residents a bit by surprise when the bandits descended on the burbs on garbage collection day. Or yummy stinky food collection day to some. Every year, the guys at Wright's Motorcycle Parts in Salt Lake City raise money for the Shriners Children's Hospital by putting a collection jar on the counter. Well, this young man felt like he needed the money more than the sick children, so he grabbed the jar and strolled away. Slick move. No one saw a thing. Or wait. After calling the cops, store employees posted the security video online, and DJs at K-Bear Radio told listeners to go check it out. Nearly 2,500 people did just that, and seven days later, Jared Impey turned himself in to police. CNN just launched a groundbreaking new website that gives you control of the news. Imagine that. It's called iReport.com, and just about anything goes. I caught up with CNN.com live anchor Nicole Lappin for an iced tea and a quick little test run. We're here to talk about one thing, and it's iReport.com. This is really a cool thing. No one else is doing this. It is super cool. iReport is a great resource to send in content that you see out there that CNN resources cannot find. Look, you can't be everywhere. So it's unedited, unfiltered news. Raw. Look at that, though. That's crazy. A 5.4 magnitude earthquake in Lima. There was like, still dust yeah. rising. Yeah. That made it on CNN. Look, it got that fancy stamp. It got the stamp. I like that. Not only is it breaking news of the day, mm. so when news is happening, it's yeah. good tea. Sweet tea? Mm, unsweet. You're from Georgia. I am. But it's also the stories that are interesting to people that might not be newsworthy to everybody sure. else, but might be a little, shall we say, quirky. Well, let me, let's look at this one, the E.T. grilled cheese sandwich. So the thing we have to point out is that not all of these are going to be on CNN, like the E.T. sandwich. I gotta say, probably not news. We were gonna use that on our next show for News to Me. Grilled cheese sandwich, next on News to Me. So this is like a YouTube of news. I like that. I just got You should this. tell those marketing okay. people that. <laughs> Look, you can be a superstar eye reporter, like this guy who really wants to take our job, Steve Aguare. Check this out. Okay, he created this? That's all of him. Okay, now... All Steve all the time. He wants to do it all. He wants to do graphics. Okay, all right. He's a professional guy. I think, feel like do you, you like Steve? Well, a little bit. Are you jealous? A little bit, I have to say. Eva Glory. Oh, anyway, so this is cool video. This was actually used on Erica and Anderson Cooper for their th AC 360 video, but it's actually a really cool video. Usually their video is, eat. this is really good. Don't say oh, that. I'm no, sorry, you, this is good. So this guy, guy skydiving. Almost gets hit by a plane. Oh, and that's crazy. Look at this. It's called Strange Sighting at Diaz Lake. Do you believe in UFOs? I thought those were birds. Do you believe? Don't you think those are birds? Hurry up. Are you filming that? You're right. That could be birds. This is bizarre. But I thought they were balloons. Maybe it's a UFO. But anyway, Sonia Rose sent this one in. She sent it one week ago. It's been viewed. Now, this doesn't sound like a lot of times, but 85 times. That's a lot. Nicole, show me something good. Surprise me. It's my birthday. Look, Eric, here's the thing. CNN has resources in so many countries, but we can't be everywhere. And we actually can't be everywhere yes. because of restrictions in some countries, like in Tibet, where Western journalists are banned. And so we wouldn't actually know some of the protests going on in Tibet right now, especially uh, coming up toward the Olympics, where it's really escalated. We can't even see what it looks like. But now we can't because eye reporters are there. This is the only graphic visual depiction that we have of the situation in Tibet right now. So we're encouraging to go out there to different places. When you see news happening, shoot it, click it, whatever, how you take the picture of the video, send it in, be a part of the news, right? Be safe out there. Godspeed. All right, back to you in the studio. Back to you, Eric. 
When we come back, a burglar gets a lesson in manners. He asked me, do you want me to go back into the house? A dog gets a bit of his own medicine. My teeth and my jaw totally hurt.